Hello class, I'm going to work with you today on what I'm calling round one order of operations problems. So these are problems that have maybe one or two sets of parentheses, no exponents, no nested parentheses. Uh, we're going to start by um, working through a problem together and then I will give you a second problem similar to the first one. I want you to pause the video when I get to that point, you work it out, and then I'll uncover the answer, and we'll do that all the way through the worksheet, okay? I'm going to be moving kind of quickly. Um, you can re-watch the video as many times as you need to, pause it whenever you need to. That's the beauty of having this on video instead of me working it out live in front of you. Okay, so I'm going to start here with my multiplication. Um, I know that negative 6 times 12 is negative 72. By the way, you can use a calculator for these parts of the problem. I bring down the 18, bring down the add 3. 18 minus 72 is negative 54 plus 3. Negative 54 plus 3 is negative 51. That's my answer. Your problem now is 13 plus 8 plus 7 times 10, pause the video, work it out, hit play when you're ready to see the answer. Okay, the answer and the work are right here. You can pause the video if you need to look through it. And let's go on to number 3. I'm going to start with the parentheses. 10 plus 5 is 15. Bring down the rest of the problem. 9 plus, I mean sorry, 9 times 7 is 63 plus 15. 63 plus 15 is 78. Now you solve 9 times 11 plus the quantity 9 plus 5. Hit pause, solve the problem, check in in a minute. Here is the work and the answer. Hit pause if you need to go through that at your own pace. Number 5. This time we have three values in the parentheses, but it doesn't change the fact that we have to solve what's inside the parentheses first before we get to any multiplication. 12 plus 17 is 29. Bring down the minus 5 and the times 2. 29 minus 5 is 24. Bring down the times 2. 24 times 2 is 48. That's the answer to number 5. Now you solve number 6, then hit pause and come back for the answer. Here you go, sorry about that dip in the film. <laughs> um, the answer is 256. Let's work out problem number seven. Here I have two sets of parentheses. I'm going to solve what's in the first one first, and then I'm going to solve what's in the second one. 11 plus five is 16. 14 times 16 is 224. Take a look at this problem here. Hit pause, solve it, come back. Here's the work and the answer to number 8. I hope this helped.